Folks, a Flint, Michigan man is collecting signatures on a petition to have the city's first female mayor, Karen Weaver, recall from office. The effort by Flint resident Arthur Woodson is over the mayor's handling of a $3.7 million waste collection contract. We were recommended in June 2016 that the city sign the contract with Rizzo Environmental Services, but the city council voted against Rizzo and chose to give the one-year contract to its old trash company, Republic Services. However, both companies were picking up trash in Flint in September. Officials with Rizzo were later linked to a federal corruption probe, but no charges have been filed against Rizzo or its employees. We're joined right now by Arthur Woodson, who filed that um, uh, petition uh, trying to get uh, her recall. Uh, Arthur, first and foremost, why? Why? Because uh, we had a we have a water emergency, and we didn't have a trash emergency. And it took focus off of everything that we were doing. And this company, Rizzo, they had been uh, in Canada. They lost $2 million, cost 34 jobs. Then the owner of Rizzo, he sold the company, and he was just indicted last Thursday for bribery and corruption. And the way that this process was done, it wasn't done correctly. The bids were open uh, May 12, 2016. And they allowed this company to add on to their bid so that they can win the contract. So there was a lot of riffraff going on in it. So the thing is, we have a mar uh, water emergency. And at that time, we hadn't had any lead pipes changed. We hadn't had anything done. Over $347 million has come into Flint, and nothing has been done. And the residents have not seen any relief yet. Okay. Now, you need about 5,800 signatures. Uh, by August to get this on the ballot in November. Uh, where do you stand right now? Well, we have over 4,000 signatures. Uh, a lot of the residents are fed up. Uh, if you speak with the residents, they will uh, let you know that they're tired and that they wanted to see some relief. Some people are getting two water bills. Uh, I mean, they're tired of paying for poison water and they don't feel like the water is safe. And then we are getting advisory letters saying Legionella would probably be in the water because it's starting to get hot hot again. We had a different bacteria uh, this this past winter in the water. There's a lot of different things going on here in the city of Flint, and this administration, the mayor, has not been out here. So, Arthur? Yes, sir. So, Arthur, this, so this, is, not a, this is not about the Rizzo contract. For you, this is a compilation of issues uh, largely driven by the water crisis in Flint. Correct. I mean, uh, you have a whistleblower that uh, that's suing the mayor right now because they tried to uh, start a 527 fund. Uh, and at one time she said that that wasn't true, but she just came out in M Live the other day and said that she did it for the people. But at the same time, in the articles of incorporation, it states that it was for her travel or for her so that the taxpayers wouldn't have to pay. But the issue here is, you, uh, the mayor said that she didn't do it, but it was caring for Flint Fund that was established behind closed doors. Let's go to our studio where we have Mayor Karen, mayor Karen Weaver there. Uh, mayor, how do you respond to the allegations uh, by Arthur Woodson as to why you should be recalled? Well, first of all, let me say I have a city to run, and we have a water crisis, but we still have a city to run. And so when this took place, we didn't have money yet to start the uh, lead service line replacements. But I want to talk about this garbage contract because that is completely false. Everything was done according to the process. When I, one of the things that had happened under emergency manager was contracts were just uh, signed and signed and signed. And so I said I was going to put it out for bid. We were paying $21 million for garbage. As soon as I put it out for bid, the company that had the contract came down to 19. They dropped it by $2 million automatically. So we had already been being gouged. And, and my responsibility is to save the taxpayers money. So they came down by two million. The other company, Rizzo, came in two million below that. So they came for 17 million. And um, they were given the contract. At least they were going to be given the contract. Well, when I heard about the other mis misdoings with the other cities where they were working, I said, you know what, we don't need this on top of a water crisis. We've got enough going on. And so I did not give uh, Rizzo the contract and, in fact, asked Republic if they would match 
the $17 million, and that's what they agreed to do. So if me fighting to save the taxpayers that amount of money is a problem, uh, I don't understand, but I'm going to continue to do those kinds of things. So as far as the lead service line replacements, we got the money. So, Mayor? Yes. So, so, so Mayor? Yes. So, so Mayor, so, so you're, you're facing this, uh, these issues here, and so, um, but, but clearly you have residents uh, who are looking to, to get, make someone pay politically for this continuing crisis with the water mm -hmm. there in Flint. Yes, they, they sure are. And, you know, it's interesting because uh, it's almost like people have forgotten who caused this water crisis. And we had people in place that would not speak up and speak out. And it's really interesting to me that people will speak out about uh, garbage, but they didn't speak up about the garbage going into our bodies when we were consuming lead-contaminated water. So, Mayor, uh, so you're facing this here, and so how are you... Uh, trying to fight against this. Woodson says they have 4,000 signatures. They need 5,800. Uh, and so you make you could very well be facing uh, a recall effort if they are successful in getting these signatures. Well, they have, and, and, and let me tell you this, they have until the end of June, June 24th is when they have to get the signatures. One of the things I'm going to do is stay uh, focused on what I'm supposed to do and what I was elected to do because I think my record stands for itself as far as what I've been able to accomplish in this short period of time. And it's really sad that someone would spend their time uh, tearing the city apart instead of focusing effort and energy and trying to move things forward forward with everything we have going on in the city of Flint. And it also seems like some sour grapes when you look at some of the people that have, behind the, have been behind the recall effort. I remember they were just waiting for me to be in office for a year because you can't recall until you've been in office for a year. And the day after that was when the first recall language was filed. And it was also said that in a majority minority city that someone, that a, that a white person did come to some African Americans and say we will pay you to file recall language. And one of the pastors brought this to me and said no. Uh, and I know Arthur Woodson had been approached and the first time he said no, but I guess he could succumb to that. So here we are. And we've always been so easily divided and once again that's All what's right. happening. A peaceful protest turned deadly. 37 year old black man was shot and killed by Baton Rouge police. His hands are in the air and you still get shot by the cops. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. We're not gonna let hate define us. Race is a big part of this. If truly all lives matter, then all lives need to matter equally. What we require is action. What we require is accountability. We understand that black lives do matter. And we will keep focused on this issue. News One Now, every weekday morning at seven on TV One.